Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, one of my meals from my weight gain journey. This is tomato and spinach pasta with some boiled chicken. So first of course you want to start off by washing off your chicken. Um, you want to wash it off and then season it. I chose to season my chicken with Lori seasoning salt and also um, garlic powder. So you do want to season both sides of the chicken. Um, it doesn't really matter if you over season the chicken because we're actually going to boil it. Um, so once you put it into the water, it won't, it'll take a lot of the um, seasoning off of it. So I did put a lot of seasoning on it to begin with just because I know it was going to be boiling in that water. And once it hit the water, then a lot of the seasoning will, you know, come off the chicken or whatever. So... So when you get done seasoning the chicken, you actually want to place it in a pot on the stove and you want to let it come to a boil. And then while you're letting the chicken come to a boil, you want to start and prep the rest of your vegetables. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to lay it up here. Now you can do your others like that. Lay it up here. Rena, I try to cut it because I don't want it to it's stuck up in these corners. Put it on here. And press down so you ready to get started. That's two pieces that's coming out. I just cut a little piece off the top like that. Jacob, really Actually, you know they have a garlic pillow. I got one back there, but I never use it. Where you mash the garlic. Now that's your piece that you're going to grip. So you want to just dice up all of your garlic if you can tell I'm using like a smaller cutting board for the garlic and that's because I want the garlic to be in smaller pieces than what the onions were. And after you get finished prepping all of your vegetables you actually want to check on your chicken and make sure that it has come to a boil and once you see that it has started to boil you could go ahead and you can put the top on it. So while your chicken is um, still being prepared, you want to go ahead and you want to start to saute your vegetables. I put olive oil in the pan and I just begin to saute the vegetables. And then you also want to start to prepare your pasta. Um, you want to have boiling water and then add the pasta noodles to it. So while your pasta is cooking and your chicken is cooking, you want to add the spinach into the skillet so you could saute it with the rest of the vegetables um i added the whole container of the baby spinach um just because i was cooking for a lot and when you add all of the spinach i go ahead and i put the top on just so it could cook the spinach and it could shrink it so i could have more room in the skillet now your chicken should be done by now um it took about 15 minutes for the chicken to cook completely and you can see it's like real tender um but you want to go ahead and dice it up and cut it up into like little squares um so you could put it into the pasta you don't want like really big chunks like you want like big chunks where you can like not stingy chicken but like big chunks of chicken so you could taste this chicken but it don't be like a big strip of chicken you know what i'm saying After you get finished um, cutting up your chicken, you want to check to see if the spinach has cooked. And then what you want to start doing is um, seasoning your vegetables. I used the Lori seasoning salt to season my vegetables. And then I went ahead and I also added the diced pineapples um, to the 
skillet as well. Okay, Kelsey, don't whip it up too much. Leave it alone. That's the secret to a good meal. You don't have to be quickly staring at it. So now you want to add the cream cheese into the mixture. I believe that was like 8 ounces of cream cheese. I don't know. But you also want to add the um, Parmesan cheese. And just sprinkle it over so it can be extra, extra cheesy. And then what you want to do is actually like take your spoon and actually cut up the um, cream cheese and mix it in the vegetable mixture you want to just mix all of that up and make sure it's like spread out evenly among the skillet and after you do that you want to go ahead and you want to add your tomato sauce i believe this was tomato basil and garlic sauce yep that's what it was and you just want to um add that whole can into your skillet and then after that, you want to check on your noodles. You want to make sure um, your noodles was completely cooked and you want to put them in the strainer. And while you're putting them in the strainer, you want to like rinse them with water so you can like cool them down. And that way, um, you know, it won't suck like it won't. I don't know. It, it does something with the taste or whatever. So. After that, of course, you add the noodles to the skillet and you want to add a little bit as at a time and like mix it as you're adding it. You don't want to put a lot in there, but like here you can see me adding more tomato sauce and, um, you know, adding more Parmesan cheese. So after you mix it up real good, you want to go ahead and start adding your chicken. And you want to add the chicken in the same way you added the pasta in a little bit at a time and mix it up. And then add a little bit more and mix it up. And you just want to make sure all of the chicken is covered in sauce and the ingredients and flavor. Like you don't want anything in there to look pale. Everything should have color. Everything should have tomato sauce on it. You don't, you really want to mix that chicken in. So all of that sauce can get on it and then at the end the last thing that we did add was tomato paste and it's a lot thicker than tomato sauce and it'll help aid in it not being so like soupy it'll be like a thicker cheesy pasta that's what the um pasta um paste do, the tomato paste sorry does and you just want to make sure you just mix it all in now, babes, if you want to make this meal a little bit healthier, um, of course, you don't want to use the diced tomatoes that come in a can. You can actually cut up tomatoes yourself, um, fresh tomatoes, and that will like help cut down on a lot of the sodium that is in the dish. And also, you can use um, wheat pasta. Okay, babe, so this is the finished product. This is so 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 good um if you guys want to see more videos like this please be sure to thumbs this video up and leave a comment below on what foods you would like me to do a tutorial on and also if you are a new viewer and you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and then go ahead and hit the little bell next to it and turn on my post notifications so you can get a notification every time I upload a video and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so so much for watching babes